Hello and welcome to the next episode of Let's Play Minecraft with the Geeky Minecrafter. I'm your host. Uh, I wanted to take a moment and show you a few of the improvements that I've made. And I will tell you, the sure will be in the high def package, uh, the texture pack. I know we haven't heard from everyone yet, but uh, you know, this is how I play Minecraft uh, when I'm off camera, when I'm doing making the improvements that I'm making. So I wanted to show you around. So as you can see, I have extended the uh, windows. I've, I've taken them up quite a bit. Let's change our view here. Um, I've taken them up quite a bit um, just to give me uh, the sweeping feeling that I'm looking for. Uh, I have also made some improvements right out here. Now it is night, so I'm not going to linger out here. I've done some decorative um, stonework out here. I've added some torches. As you can see, I've pulled these windows up as well. Uh, now I will eventually take them all the way up to probably that level right there. Uh, but that, you know, takes a lot of glass, takes a lot of time, and some scaffolding. So I am working on that. So this is the front of my house, and I, I confess um, <laughs> to, to really enjoying the decorating part. Uh, now we are going down into the mines. I, I kind of hate to leave this open, but I don't really have anything to close it off with. So let's grab some stone real fast. I have made a couple of changes in here, um, and I'll show you that in just a second. Let me just... Uh, Okay, so I've discovered you can put a torch on a glass block. I did not know that. So that's probably going to be my end table for my new couches and stuff. So this has become my storage room. I'll expand it as necessary. Uh, and again, I think I've mentioned to you before, I'm a Virgo and anal retentive. So I am now organized. Uh, I have all my dirt and hedge items in here. I have all my gems down here, gems and precious metals. I have wood that I'm collecting, which I've just used quite a bit of it, so I, I'm down to just six uh, six logs. Uh, and then any of the crafting items that I have left over, like, like the uh, fences, because uh, I did produce a uh, area where I've got some... I've gathered up some cows uh, because I need the leather. Uh, I also have um, glass in here. Uh, I've used quite a bit upstairs. I'll show you that in just a minute. And then I have decorative stone down here. So I, I find that I, I function a little better when I'm organized. So this is this is my version of getting organized. I still have my uh, incinerator. This has just kind of become a miscellaneous chest. When we go outside, I will plant some more sugar cane. Again, with sugar cane, uh, you can make paper. With paper and leather, you can make books. And with books and uh, planks you can make bookshelves and I will need some bookshelves to build my uh, to help my enchant table uh, perform a little better so you know I just uh, create paper that way put it up in there and I, I need some leather so as soon as it's daylight I'll show you the cow farm but in the meantime I want to show you upstairs um, here's a couple of things that I did so when we're let's just peek make sure he's not in my house hear you where are you okay so I think he's up in the walls so um, as you can see oh my goodness he sounds like he's right here so as you can see when I press F3 I am at XYZ coordinates negative 125 slash 71 71 is my level above sea level 156 So what I did was I found the coordinates upstairs on top of the mountain that are as close to that as I could get. And that wound up being, oops, sorry, that wound up being right over in here. So I marked this spot, okay, and then I went up on top of the mountain through my spiral staircase, which I'll show you in just a moment, and I tunneled all the way down from up from the top of the mountain I tunnel down and believe it or not I hit the exact spot I was aiming for uh, I was a little impressed I, I kinda couldn't believe that worked out the way it did so let me tell you what what I did and why so I, I came in here and I created a spiral staircase that goes all the way up and I replaced the landings with glass 
So as you can see, I have glass all the way to the top of the mountain. This will let natural light in down here. Now I did um, I did create this. I, I'm sorry. I, I, maybe I should fast forward through this so you don't get dizzy. Uh, I get a little dizzy in here. Uh, this was mostly to bring daylight down to my uh, my little area, just because you know we're we're human beings. We like the daylight. Uh, this was also kind of a fun project. I learned quite a bit on this. Uh, Angry Poncho, I believe, is uh, who who showed me how to do this. I, I watched one of his videos. It's pretty awesome. As you can see, it's still nighttime, uh, but I, I should be protected here. I've got look at this. Here's the sunrise. Woohoo! I've got a deck all the way around me, and monsters can't spawn on half slabs, which is what this is nor can they cross a fence line, which is what this is. This is too high, so they can't jump on top of that to get over my fence. And I moved the dirt back so that they couldn't jump from here onto my deck. So the theory here is I'm safe when I'm out here on the deck at night. And I like this because look at this gorgeous sunrise. Now from here, you can see the animal pens I was telling you about. I've begun some cow pens right down there. Um, and I will, uh, I will add on to that. I do have a sorting pen. I hear you, sir. Where are you? I think he might be below me. Make sure he's not above me. I'm not entirely sure they can't spawn in and drop down here. They are, they are the undead, so potentially they don't have to worry about falls from great heights. So I may need to kind of clean that up a little bit. Sounds to me like he's below me. So just to be on the safe side, I want to be able to hear him knocking on the door. Okay, so the sun sets out this direction, and this is a pretty gorgeous view. I do have plans to extend this all the way back and add like a barbecue area back here, you know, because I'm from Texas. We do a lot of barbecue in Texas. Um, and then, of course, this is the mine shaft. I told you that I, I grabbed those coordinates and I um, started right here and just drilled right straight down and hit the spot that I was aiming for. It's really, I, I can't tell you how impressed I was by that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's everything done here. Now, I'll show you a couple plans I have for up here. Make sure it's daylight. Keep that closed. I'll go ahead and grab my sword. Okay, so what I have planned up here, this I've kind of leveled this out a little bit. This was this was kind of a hill. Uh, in fact, it went all the way up to that area of the tree. So I've leveled quite a bit up here. What I want to do is put an automated wheat farm up here so that when I throw a switch, it will harvest all of the wheat at once. Now, I will have to replant manually, and that's okay uh, until I figure out a way to you know plant from an automated standpoint. Uh, that's okay. So I am going to put a automated collection down here. I'm probably going to add some more decking over here. Again, this this view on this mountaintop is just gorgeous, especially at sunrise and sunset. So there's my view of the desert and and the painted desert and all the clay. Uh, it's just gorgeous out there. Let's take a peek over. So there's that lagoon that sits in front of my house. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Uh, it may create a, a mob farm that will kill them, uh, you know, from an automated standpoint. I don't know. There's there's something we can do there. So I have big plans up here for um, just aesthetically pleasing things. Uh, let's head back downstairs. Actually, let's take the quick way. Now, there's an even quicker way, which I'm, I'm contemplating doing. If you, in Minecraft, if you fall, it doesn't matter what height you fall from, if you fall into at least three blocks of water, you won't die. So I'm thinking about creating a little pool for down here, and uh, so <laughs> it can just jump off and land in the pool. I mean, it may have to be a separate, um, a separate place to fall from, but that would be that would be kind of fun. Okay, so let's let's go grab. Do I have? Um, okay, I have the sugar cane. I have a little bit of wheat. I have a few spare fences. So let, let me go show you the uh, cattle farm that I've begun out here. Show you plans I have for more than this. 
um, Data List, which is uh, a, a video series I've been watching. And by the way, Data, dude, excellent job. Really thoroughly enjoying the videos. Uh, he's got several automated farms, which I'm hoping to, you know, replicate, maybe improve upon, or, or make my own, you know, make personal. So here's my, oh, by the way, here's my sugar, um, sugar cane farm. So I like to uh, collect some of this as I go by. Again, I'm going to need a bunch of pages, bunch of books. So just do this every time I walk by on the way to see the sheepies and the cows. Oops. I just screwed that up. Oh, it can't already be dark. Good grief. Okay, I'll come back and fill this in when we're done. I want you to see this before it gets dark. Okay, oh, look, I have a cow who would like to join us. Um, I've been breeding them, so they're, uh, you know, they're pretty happy. This is my sorting pen. So when I bring an animal in, uh, I bring him in here, and uh, eventually I'm going to make it where that it covers all three pens. Uh, but from here, let's go ahead and close it so they can't get out. From here, I can jump up here and see all my little cows. And I do have water here, so they're not starving. So I don't want anybody to call the SPCA. Um, so let's, uh, let's have them make few baby cows. So I'm just tapping them on the head with some uh, wheat, right clicking. And what will happen is all those who are, um, you know, not in love will become in love. And they'll start having little baby sheep and or baby cows. And from that, um, of course, I'm going to be able to uh, harvest quite a bit of uh, leather. So let's, let's start these guys doing their thing. So here you go, here you go. So now they're in love. Now, I don't know if you caught what I'm doing here. I do have gates on all of these, obviously. But for me, this is a little piece of carpet that I created from wool. And with this, I'm able to... Oh, come on. You guys aren't going to be in love, really? Well, this little poor, this poor little guy, he's in love all by himself. That's not right. Okay, you guys, you guys get together. Come on. Anyway, um, I, I created this so I can jump over. The monsters can't, and the cows can't, and the sheep and the pigs, they can't. But you can. So this allows me a quick way in and out without the potential of letting them out of the uh, pen. Now what I may do is let a few out. Come on in, come on in. Come on, get out of the hole, come on. There we go. So, got a couple more in here. I don't want any, I don't want to be accused of overcrowding. So this is the beginning of my sheep, or my uh, cow farm. I basically, uh, just collecting this, I'm going to need to harvest them for the leather. I will eventually create an automated farm that will um, let me push a button and they will get happy, get make babies, and the babies will flow down to an area where, um, you know, as they grow up, uh, they'll be killed for their leather and their meat. I, you know, I, I hate to say that. That's, that's so cruel. Uh, let me put some of this up. Uh, I like to leave some out here when I come. Uh, okay, it's getting dark. I do have some plans for out here. I think this is going to be my uh, sheep and cow farm. I went it out away from the house because, gosh, these animals are noisy. And I don't know if you remember this. My original hobbit hole is on the other side of that hill. I had was wandering around back here uh, when I found this. Now, there's my, um, there's my deck area and the stuff that I have up on top of this. Um, so it's it's coming along. It's looking pretty good. So we, we've got three automated farms we're going to have out here. We're going to have sheep, cows, and pigs. I need some carrots to in, induce the pigs to come down here. I'm growing quite a bit of um, sugar cane. Let's go ahead and harvest a bit more of this. Now I've got a, a bunch of pigs in this area, but I don't have anything to entice them to come into a pen yet. So what I will do is... Um, as soon as I get some carrots, and I'm going to have to go to the village for that to get enough to get started. As soon as I have some carrots, I will build my pig pens and uh, get them started. Now, I did, I've did. i got quite a bit of sugar cane down in here. 
again it's it's getting dark so I'm headed back to the house I have been kinda landscaping this I'll probably make this a sugarcane farm as well um, I don't really have any plans for the desert uh, other than to do some exploring I did find the remnants of an old um, like temple I, I believe uh, as a matter of fact if we have a little bit of time I'll see if I can't show you that I am gonna get my sword out just in case so it's right over here it's pretty close I can get to it fairly quickly uh, let's just hop over this water let's go past the squid and the sheep and again you know I know I've got sheep that are hanging out here I'm not gonna cut down this tall grass until I'm ready for them um, animals won't spawn when there's not grass for them to eat so I'm gonna leave it there so they'll spawn in for me now see what I found right down here okay I haven't really explored it um, this is sandstone uh, and it's not naturally occurring I do have some resources down here uh, but uh, you know it's I'm gonna have to dig my way down there and I'm gonna leave that that's a project for another day I've got uh, some infrastructure I want to put together before I spend a lot of time doing that and I've got quite a bit of sand out here as a matter of fact I may just pick some up but so we can uh, start some more glass going I, I don't uh, I don't come out here very often oh I came out here with one little <laughs> good grief well okay we're gonna end the tour here because I was ill prepared I'm, I'm just showing you around I do have some sheep over here that I am going to start farming as soon as I can uh, put enough uh, material together for that. Okay, so let's see. Let me get back in the house before I say my goodbyes. I don't want to be out here and be telling you guys goodbye and then have a creeper sneak up on me and blow me away. That would just be bad. That would be a rookie mistake. So isn't this gorgeous? you know what as a matter of fact okay I'm really loving this texture pack I hope everybody votes soon get your vote in soon um, I, I'd like to keep using it I, I think it really adds something to the gameplay but you let me know so that was the quick tour that's the upcoming episode of uh, what we plan to do I hope you enjoyed the tour so this is the geeky minecrafter signing out hey you guys happy mining